Hi guys, it's Natalie. Um, Zasha's not with me today, unfortunately. She had some stuff to do. Um, soon enough, we will be doing another video together. A couple. We are going to do our May favorites, possibly, and a couple others. Um, today, I just wanted to share with you guys all-time favorites. Um, not just a particular month, but things that I've had for years upon years. Um, literally practically 10 years um there's certain colors and stuff that just never like fade out and whatever so i just wanted to talk about a couple of things that i really really love um i'm gonna start with the makeup i'm wearing right now this is just something simple i do for work i don't like to be dramatic i, I work at a, a college as well as a bank so i don't want to be too heavy on the makeup um, I like the makeups I wear because they're really soft and clean and they're not heavy and they're not bad for my skin. I'm going to start, we'll start with the, we'll start with the face. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I already talked about the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation Cream in my last, in our last video. But I actually wanted to talk about the Compact Powder. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I hope you can see it. Yes, yeah, so, Double Wear. Maybe go in a closer. Yeah. Oh, I'm wearing the shadow, by the way. Thanks, Sasha. <laughs> She's the nail polish guru and the little couple we have. So, yeah, this is the Estee Lauder Compact. This is my second one. I It lasts pretty long, but, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's clumping because I got it wet a little bit, but it still works. And it comes with some little powder near, but it's just a pressed powder. Um, that's all I'm wearing right now. I, I mean, I have a little bit of acne. Unfortunately, I'm 24. It's, it's bound to happen. But I like the I like this because it's not like thick and cakey. It's really really soft, and I believe it has SPF 10 in it. Yeah, SPF 10. It's a stay in place powder makeup. Um, I'm sand 16. Um, sand is for like olivey color tones, tan tones, uh, golden tones. So if you know what you are like me, then you're sand. Um, that's what I have on my face, and I do have a little bit of blush on. Um, the blush that I'm using is MAC. I'm in love with MAC. That was the first makeup brand I used. Um, my own, anyway. Um, so this is MAC right here. Sorry about the brightness. This is Dame. Um, it's just the Dame blush, satin blush. It's a really light pink. It's really, really pretty, though. I love it. It's nothing strong. Um, and, of course, the brush I use is the MAC um, number 150 brush, I think. It's like fading. I don't know if you could see the number MAC 150. That's um like the best blush brush ever. Can't believe I said that without getting tongue twisted. <laughs> um next for my eyes, I'm using I have black mascaras and I did show you my Wet n Wild, the liquid liner, but my favorite is um a MAC pencil. It's an eye coal. It's called Teddy. So let's see. MAC Teddy. Focus. Focus. <laughs> it's a brown. It's really, um, it's one of their darker browns, but it's still not like as dark as black. So it's not so strong on my eyes. Like I said, I don't want to be like super over empowering on the makeup when I'm going to work. And then actually for mascara, I do love CoverGirl. Their new line of mascaras are amazing. I love Lash Blast more than anything. But one of my classic favorites is the old school Maybelline. I think y'all know this little cover. I mean, you, normally it's the pink bottle with the green cover, but that's for the black. This is clear. I um, love the Great Lash Clear Mascara because it doesn't show at all. And you're not going to have like black clumps or anything. It goes on really smoothly. I mean, the brush is really thin. It's a really little brush. Can't even see it. But I love this. It's nothing like regular mascara. And God forbid you're crying. It's not going to like smear down your face like regular mascara. So I love Maybelline. Um, for my eyeshadows, I, I like to have color. And I have brown eyes. And to really accent them, I like to wear colors too, like brighter colors. Um, greens, turquoise, blues. So right now, I don't know if you could see what I'm wearing. Um, it's very faint. Now I start with one of the classic colors of MAC that any MAC artist will tell you to buy for any type of eyes you're doing, whether it be smoky eye, like a dramatic effect, or really soft. It is Floof. Um, Floof is 
by far, I think, their bestseller. Um, this one's almost finished, but it's a really, really light color. You see, it's like a... Um, oh, sorry, that's my other one. Don't look at that yet. <laughs> um, it's like a beige, off-white, really pearly color. Um, this is what it looks like. It's on my middle finger. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have put it on that finger. <laughs> so, yes. Again, this one. Let's see if you can see the name. Floof. Anyway, so Floof is the base that I put. And I also put it under the eyebrows to really, like, highlight my arches. Um, on the inside, I use Aquadisiac. Uh, this was the first color I bought. I bought this in 10th grade. Not this exact one. <laughs> Mac. And this one's Aquadisiac. It's a really pretty turquoise, and it's got a little glitter to it. Um, yeah, I bought this in 10th grade. This is probably my second or third one. Yeah, aquadisiac. And so I just put a little bit on the inside. And then for the outside, I use another one I got in 10th grade. Um, one of their most popular colors. This one's my third one I bought, Sushi Flower. So they've got MAC Sushi Flower. Um, I love this. It's like a really light pink type thing. It's pinky pink. <laughs> um, the name is gone on this one because I take it around with me so much, but it is sushi flower. I know for a fact because number one, I took it to them to buy another one just in case because I love this color so much. So yeah, sushi flower. Um, and for my lips, it's really neutral. I mean, I could technically just wear chapstick, but again, this is a color they've had out for a really long time. I know I bought this in high school. I don't remember when, but it is um, MAC Lip Gloss, and it's a really, really soft pink. It's really pretty. And this one is called Under Age. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm not turning it right. Under Age. Yes. Uh, 85, if you can see that. So, yeah, it's really pretty, really light. I carry this with me all the time. I think this is my second one. I've gotten, I love MAC because their products last so long and I'm really bad because I buy so much. I have $5,000 worth of MAC products and I really need to use it. Like it's really not good to keep makeup for so long, but um, that's just how I am. Um, I, let's see, well, I'm a Middle Eastern girl <laughs> who has really bushy eyebrows normally. But um, I don't like to go anywhere and get them done, so I do them myself, and I tweeze the whole time. I don't wax, I don't thread, I don't do shaving. I just tweeze my eyebrows on my own now and shape them on my own and hope my shape is good for y'all. <laughs> and my weapon is the classic Tweezer Man. I love Tweezer Man. This is, and these are my favorite because it's got the little breast cancer ribbons on it, as you can see. And, um, I mean, I like the grip. I mean, the grip is the best. It really lets you just handle it. It's really great. I love Tweezer Man. I discovered it, um, maybe when I was in seventh or eighth grade. And, um, I think it was because my mom, you know, she knew it's, it's been around, I think since seventies or more, I really should look it up and give you the right information. I'm sorry, but I love Tweezer Man because they do free sharpening and cause you know, they will dull out over time after so long you don't think so but it will because you're always clipping it so I love tweezer man they have free shipping over like a certain amount of purchases and they do free um sharpening for life as long as it says tweezer man it's free so that's great about their product um let's see next for my hair um I bring you the shampoos I use I use John Frieda for blondes because again I have dark hair and to keep it this you know healthy and light I have to um use a good shampoo that's made for coloring but a product that I use that really like saves my hair and really protects it and I've been using it for quite some time is um it's by Organics it's coconut milk I don't know if you can see oh sorry the light is like shining on it Organics right there coconut milk and it's um anti-breakage serum and um I love it. Like, it smells amazing. I mean, come on. It's coconut milk. It's like an oil type thing. You don't want to put too much. Just, like, a little drop, like, in the palm of your hand is great. And then once you put it on, just rub your hands together and just, like, put it through your hair. Um, it's best to do it while your hair is wet. Um, so, yeah, just, I believe it's 
Only when it's wet. Yeah. I mean, it could really, you could put it on dry hair too, like after you've blow dried it to protect it from like, let's say blow dryer. Um, that's the best thing to do. And um, like right when I get out of a shower, I like to use, oh, this is my favorite product, period. I love it. I'm sorry. It's for kids, but I don't care. It's Johnson & Johnson Detangler. See, Johnson's No More Tangles Detangling Spray. Um, I love this stuff. This used to be the bottle before, in case anybody knew what it was. And I, this is my third bottle of the new, the new one, because I used to have this bottle. And then they changed it to this. I freaked out one day when I was looking for the old bottle, and I'm like, where is it? And the girl was like, they changed the bottle. And I love this stuff. Just shake and spray over your hair, and it, it's like a leave-in conditioner almost. And it doesn't make your hair oily. You could do it even after your hair is dry. But I love this stuff. I love Johnson hair products a lot too. <laughs> Actually, I love Johnson products in general because that's my next thing I'm about to talk about. Um, I like Johnson's baby lotion. Um, this is the, I believe, the aloe vera. Yeah. Aloe and vitamin E baby lotion. I know it's for babies and I know for adults you're supposed to use stronger stuff. But this is just amazing. It's so creamy and smooth. And it smells amazing. And I love it. And I know I won't have to ever worry about it not being there because... Um, it's Johnson and Johnson. Um, and then lastly, um, my Clinique moisturizer. I love this stuff. I've been using Clinique for ages. Clinique is just, I'm oh, sorry. You can't really see it. Clinique moisture surge. It's so creamy and soft. I absolutely love it. It's so amazing. And I love the way it feels on my skin. Just make sure you wash your face before you apply it. Um, I do a lot of different things to wash my face. I use like Mary Kay products and um, first things first, I use wipes, like Equate wipes from Walmart. I love them. They're really cheap. It takes off all the makeup and then I use um, like a Clearasil or a Neutrogena, something with the deep cleansers and the microbeads to really clean out my skin and the Mary Kay softening like soaps and then I use um, the, there's like a clear cell, like astringent, so it really cleans your pores out. And then I put the Clinique moisturizer. So I really try to take care of my skin. Um, anyways, so those are all my all-time favorite products. I use these things almost on a daily basis. Um, if I had to choose, you know, certain makeup and hair products for the rest of my life, I would stand by these. I wouldn't use anything else. Um, so, and these, these are things that anybody could buy anywhere. Like the Johnson's products can be bought... And almost any grocery store or any type of pharmacy, drugstore, or like Walmart or Target, places like that. Um, Tweezer Man you can find online. MAC Makeup can be found online. Or you can buy it at like Nordstrom. Certain Macy's sell it. Unless you have a MAC store by you. And um, Maybelline products are the same thing wherever you'll find Johnson & Johnson products. You can find them at drug drugstores, Walmart type places as well. And Clinique is mainly... Um, is going to be at department stores such as Macy's. So yeah, those are all my products and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll do exactly like Zasha did on our last Pinky to Pinky video. I'll put all the product names down at the bottom for you. So if you did like anything in particular, you'll know exactly what the name is. Anyway, this is a really long video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, have a good day guys. Love you. Bye.